Hi friends, today we are going to see how to install the Magento 2 using Composer. Uh, I will show you step by step. Please watch this video till end. Uh, be carefully so that you can understand each and every. So first of all, I am going to type in Google search how to install. the Magento to using Composer okay then um, we will get a link from Magento site full documentations regarding how to install we can install the Magento 2 it's very simple we have to read each and every points each step we have to follow according to the documents given in the Magento ok here they have given us to install the Magento 2 via Mag Composer we have to use this command ok so I am going to copy this link ok and paste into in my command from cmd ok I am actually installing the Magento 2 via XAMPP uh, so uh, I will paste it over here that link so that I am going to install ok what the error here is given syntax of command is incorrect actually it is because of I am here not given the install directory name so we have to give the directory name so I am giving here actually the directory name I am going to give machinto 2 ok it is nothing but uh, it will create over here example actually dog one directory path so that all the magenta folders will be going to create in that is nothing but that directory name we have to give over here okay so I have given the magenta to so let's see what's happened after this so I am going to click enter over here it's take time please watch the video till end so you cannot miss any point from this so it's giving me one error after uh, entering the URL for installing the Magento via Composer it's showing me uh, error require extintl the requested PHP extension intl is missing from your system to enable this extension verify that they are enabled in your .ini file and this INI file is located in XAM PHP PHP.ini. Okay, so I will go to in PHP INI file and I will enable. I'm going to enable this ext intl file. Okay, so folder XAM. PHP PHP INI file open with notepad find INTL
enable this okay control z sorry enable this now i am enable this okay i am done with it so to continue with the installation for uh, magento 2 for that i have to again uh, delete the folder magento 2 and again copy this link into the command prompt so that we can uh, uh, we can continue with the installation process so we check with that if any other uh, means sort of extension issue or not so I am going to delete magento folder so that we can check with that okay so friends I have deleted the folder from my HG docs and again I am uh, using the that uh, command for installation of magento via composer see magento 2 and again please press enter to proceed with the installation of magento 2 okay one more one more error it is given uh, it's nothing but the, we can see here uh, requires ext so the requested php extension show is missing from your system to enable this extension again i have to go into the php and file and to enable the soap extension so i have i am going 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 to php and file and finding the soap extension okay it is over here so i am enabling this soap extension okay saving the php and I file okay friends one more thing it is very important after enabling the extensions from the php and I file we have to restart our xam server means here means i am stopping first of all this apache okay and again i have to start and start the mysql file okay this is very important step okay after this again the same process i am going to continue i am deleting the magento 2 folder from HD docs and pasting that uh, same command composer okay friends now I am going to pasting the command again okay pressing enter it takes time now I'm saying that means after uh, sorting with all the extension issues now the installation process of Magento 2 it's get started it takes some time so wait for some minute okay now the installation of all the packages 
means into the Magento 2 folder is done. Now the important part is came us that is installation of the Magento. For that we have to use this. Below it is given bin Magento setup underscore install. This we have to copy and paste into the command prompt. In this we have to give the base URL, DB host name, everything, password and all, admin first name, last name, according to which. So now in command prompt I am adding this after copying and paste, pasting this command over here so that it going to install all the table into the php my admin see over here it is uh, in uh, db name database name magento 2 is given so uh, in the database name it will going to install all the table okay so let's start now could not open bin magento PHP Bin Magento Let's make it Okay, okay Sorry uh, Sorry, actually I have to go into the Magento 2 folder so first of all, I have to go into Magento 2 folder. Then I have to paste this command. Okay. Paste over here. Now enter. Okay, wait for some minute. It will going to install all the table of Magento. After this, the Magento 2 is completely get installed. And we going to see the front end and back end url okay uh, i'm going to show you see over here in setup install the db name magento 2 is given in php my admin magento 2 so wait for some minute the installation of magento is in process okay See friends, each uh, tables means the Magento table, Magento sample data, URL rewrite are all the tables means installations of modules and all everything regarding that schema and all it gets started in my database name uh, that is Magento 2. Uh, it takes some time after that we will going to uh, run the magento some command so that is nothing but setup upgrade and then di compile uh, and after that static content deploy uh, and after clearing cache and all we can uh, see the front end and back end of the URL. Okay. Now I am going to run command ph php. Actually, I am done with installation part. Now uh, running some command of Magento php bin magento setup upgrade okay
it's updating all the module schema creations and update okay it's take time now i am entering command php bin magento setup dir file it also takes some time now i am going to run command php bin magento setup static content deploy it takes down some time friends finally we're done with all the command uh, execution uh, in magento 2 now we're going to change check the front end and back end url whether uh, it's properly installed or not friends one more thing i want to tell you if uh, you are getting uh, means uh, issue regarding means front end first of all first of all we're going to check whether local front end and back end url whether it is perfectly installed or not okay magento 2 and our admin url local host magento 2 admin okay we are checking front end and back end url whether it is perfectly installed or not one more thing that uh, i want to tell you is nothing but if uh, you are getting in the front end and back end url blank then you can uh, go with my video link which is uh, going to give you the link in my uh, description link uh, description section you can follow that video according to which you can sort out with that issue okay oh that's great now you can see my front end url it's working properly and uh, back end url if you like this uh, video you can like and uh, if you have any query regarding means uh, sort of issue during installation you can comment uh, it so that I can answer for that comment as I am free on it so I am checking the admin URL oh that's great it installed properly okay if you like this video please like and subscribe this video subscribe my channel to watch such type of nice video Thank you for watching this video. Okay, bye. Have a nice day.